Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. Do you ever get tired of just plain old boring water? I know in order to maintain a great health and hydration, you need to drink plenty of water. But are there ever times when you're craving something else, you know, whether it be a soda, a tea, a juice, just something different that you can drink and something that's not too high in calories because who wants to waste all their points on drinks? This is the video for you. I do have some interesting drink choices because I'm not really that much of a carbonated soda drinker, okay? So I don't really like carbonation that much. So I had to get really creative and really search hard for alternatives to drinking sodas that I could use while I've been on the WW plan. Just a little about me, I'm on the WW Blue plan. I get 27 points per day and I try to strategically use those points as you'll see in my What I Eat In A Day videos and I'll go ahead and link a playlist up above for that. So if you wanna see how I typically use my points, you can look at one of those videos or some of them. But for this particular video, I'm gonna show you how I sometimes add in a drink or two that I think tastes absolutely delicious. And also I'm gonna be taste testing two items that I've never tasted before. And if that sounds like something that interests you, stay tuned. So before I get started, I did wanna talk about a brand that I love and I wanted to share it with you. And it is my oldest son's brand and it is called Underdog. And this U on this necklace represents that brand. I am gonna leave his Instagram information for his merchandise down below. And if you would be so kind to check him out, maybe even purchase if it moves your heart, I would appreciate it. This is not sponsored. <laughs> okay, so on to the drinks. Let's see, let's start with water in a jazzed up way. So we'll talk about a few different types of waters. The first is gonna be this fruit, uh, really? The first is gonna be this fruit infused water that I made and it's here with blueberries and Meyer lemons. This happens to be one of my favorite combos right now. Meyer lemons are a cross between a lemon and like a mandarin orange, so it's like a sweeter lemon. And I like to slice this up in my water and then slice up some blueberries and push it down with the straw kinda so that it actually, you know, mashes some of the fruit and really gets the fruit inf infused into the water and let it sit for a while. All my ice has melted because it's been sitting and I've been just smashing it. And now you can actually see fruit pieces floating there in the water. It changes the game, okay? super good. And I mean, really with that type of water, fruit infused water, it's up to you. What are your favorite fruits? You might not like lemons or blueberries. You might like a little bit of mint or basil, watermelon, honeydew melon, oranges. The options are endless. So think of what type of flavor you would enjoy and put that into your water and you will begin to want to drink your water just a little bit more. Body Armor Light. I believe I talked about it in a video, but I know for sure I posted about it on my Instagram page. These are somewhat like a light Gatorade or electrolyte replacement. They're very low in calories. The eight ounces is zero point. This one is a 16 ounce bottle and it is one point. It has 20 calories, 18 grams of carbs and zero protein. It replenishes a lot of your electrolytes and vitamins and I love these. I've tried several types of coconut water. I like coconut water. And I try to find the ones with no added sugar so that it will stay low in points. When I was at the store, I found these little creative roots. It looks like this. It only has one gram of sugar. And this one's also sweetened with stevia, which I don't mind. It has 15 calories in the bottle, three carbs and zero protein. However, this scanned in at one point for this bottle. So I wanted to try that here with you guys and see what I think. I'm gonna give you an honest review. They come in a four pack and I found these at Publix as well. 
Yeah, these are very good. I think what I like, I mean, I'm not really, like I said, that much into carbonation. So this is kind of like a non-carbonated coconut flavor, but it's not so much coconut. It's more of the orange pineapple flavored drink. These are really good. I definitely will repurchase these. I think my kids are gonna like them too. The last type of water that I have that I wanna try, it caught my attention because it has protein in it. And you know, if you've watched my videos, you already know how I feel about protein. I'm trying to keep my protein intake up and I really have seen great results in doing so. This one is called Protein 2O. And it's a protein infused water. Sometimes I don't feel like drinking a protein shake. I do it with my coffee in the morning and I'm not including that because I don't really drink it by itself. I drink it with coffee and honey. Coffee deserves its own video, okay? So if ever I talk about coffee in a video, I'm not just gonna include it amongst some other drinks. Coffee is coffee, okay? That's on a whole nother level. But this particular drink, Protein 2O, has 70 calories in the bottle, seven carbs, and 15 grams of protein, but it only has one point per bottle. And you're getting 15 grams of protein if you drink this. What? I have to try this and I have to know if it tastes as good as I think. So let me shake it up. I don't want to do any disservices to the drink. Okay, let me shake it up. If they taste good, I will be going back to get more. All right, so let's see. Ciao. Will I be going back to get more? Yes. Yes, she will be going back to get more because it doesn't even have like a protein taste. It just tastes really like a little bit sweet, but a lot like water, which is exactly what I like. Really, really good and a great way to get in some protein without drinking a protein, you know, shake, our typical protein shakes. The next drink I wanna talk about was talked about and talked about and talked about from another WW influencer here on YouTube. Her name is Losing Weight for Keisha. I love her channel. I love what she stands for. She has a large family. She does tons of grocery hauls and she does some what I eat in a day videos. She does recipe videos and I really enjoy watching her channel. Well, every time she does a grocery haul, she buys this. Minute Maid Zero Sugar Pink Lemonade. Okay, you see some of it's already gone, right? Because I tasted it and then I drank a little bit of it and then I drank a little bit more. And then I thought, let me hurry up and film this video before I've been and drank this whole bottle of this pink lemonade because this stuff is so bomb. You can't even tell that it's diet on any level. Um, this one has five calories per eight ounces, which is zero points two carbs, and zero protein. I think this might be my new favorite drink. I think Keisha was on to something. I think she was on to something very serious. I'm gonna leave her channel down below and stop over there and see one of her grocery hauls. You'll see this in the pickup and let her know that I sent you. The next drink that I drink when I want something different is these buy drinks. Now this particular kind, I've not tried. I saw two new kinds at the store. They might not be new, but they're new to me. One was the tea and one was a lemonade. But since I already had a lemonade in the video, I thought I'd pick up the tea. So I'm gonna open this and taste this one as well. Mm-hmm. This one has a kind of herbaceous flavor a real herby flavor about it. I'm trying to see what it has in it that's making it so herby. Hmm. This is like really good. It's okay. What's unexpected to me is floral notes that are in it or like really herb flavor. So it's a strong flavored tea and then it has the peach undertones and it's not very sweet. It's really good. It's really good. I definitely would get this one again. 
I wasn't expecting it to be so good because you know what? I like a lot of fresh brewed tea. Most bottled teas have a certain taste that I don't enjoy. This one, however, tastes very much like sun brewed tea with a hint of peach in it. It's not very sweet and this is zero points. So I definitely will be buying this one. Seagram's Diet Ginger Ale. And this is zero points and I know soda's not good for me, but these little tiny cans, you know, I go with it when I need a soda and you know what I'm talking about. When I really need a soda, I go with it, which is about once a month for me. I like having these little six pack of these little small cans on hand so I can just have it when I'm ready. And those are zero points. And the last three drinks that I have been absolutely loving are all energy drinks. I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes you need to pick me up, you know? And when I do, I lean to three specific energy drinks that I have been loving. The first is this Celsius tea. Peach mango green tea and it's non-carbonated. And this is the sweetest, I would say, of the three energy drinks that I drink. This one's very sweet. It doesn't have a really herby tea flavor, but it's good. And it gives you a good pick me up when you're looking for it. The flavor of the drink is a little sweet for me, but I told you I like mine to be a little bit more on the water side with small amount of sugar. And this one just tastes kind of more sweet than the others to me. This one is, is sweetened with sucralose, 10 calories per can, two carbohydrates, and tons of vitamins in it. So it's supposed to be really good for you. And it tastes good. I mean, I have it here because I drink it. The second energy drink that I have is Alani Nu Hawaiian Shaped Ice. And it should be no surprise to anybody that has tried Alani Nu that one of these drinks would have made it in this video because Alani Nu is killing the game, okay? Whether it's this flavor, they have like some kind of uh, grape flavored one that I like. I don't remember what it's called, Moon Dust or something, I don't know. But there's so many different flavors and they even came out with some new blue slushy ones. They're sold at GNC, they're zero points and they are delicious. And this has carbonation in it. It has 10 calories, five carbs, zero protein, and theirs is sweetened with erythritol. It's good. These are very flavorful and they do give you energy. So this is another energy drink that stays in rotation with me. And the last drink that I have was a new find. It does have points in it, but it is my absolute favorite energy drink right now. And it's because it's not very sweet, but it is very like fruity flavored water, almost tasting. And you can just kill the can so quickly. <laughs> and it gives you a ton of energy. And that would be the Monster Dragon Tea. I specifically like this white tea one, but I also like the green tea. They have another orange flavored one I like. I like all of them. This one is my favorite and it is bomb. It's in the um, gas station close to me so I can get it on the ground. I don't have to worry about ordering it. I don't have to go out of my way to find it. Plus it's very much so delicious. Look, if I spend two points on a drink, I'm telling you it's good. It gives me the energy I need and it's very tasty. If you're looking for some alternatives to water, I hope you found at least one new thing that you'd like to try in this video. I will leave the link in the description bar for Losing Weight for Keisha's channel. Please check her out as she turned me on to that pink lemonade. <laughs> and then also I'll leave my son's Instagram down below and if nothing else, just follow his Instagram page to show his channel some support. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, you guys, I think that's everything that I have for this video. I appreciate you coming and watching and being a part of my growth in my channel. Take care.